What's up? <clears throat> wow. What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome to another um, episode of the Business Insider. Wow, I really messed that up, didn't I? I really messed that up. All right. Well, welcome to another bis- episode of the Business Insider Live. I am your host, John Katsavos, and today I am more prepared than I was the other day, so I am improving. However, there's one thing that I didn't do, which really sucks. So let me just get that done, and I will go here and here. Perfect. Let me move this over, over here. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get into today's episode. Um, Today, we're going to be talking about scheduling. We're going to be talking about this is the second most time consuming task as podcasters and live streamers, which I haven't figured out yet. But for uh, podcasting, I pretty much have this down packed. It's the second most time consuming task that we have. Uh, first, as we as we know, is um, is content creation, which is copywriting. Second is this. Third is editing. So it's um, those are the three most time consuming tasks. I, I used to spend an entire day just scheduling stuff out uh, because I would do it manually, log into Facebook, schedule my posts out because Facebook business account allows you to do that. Um, Log into LinkedIn, schedule out the podcast, schedule out the posts, log into Instagram. Instagram, I don't think, I never really played around with Instagram that much, so I wouldn't know. Log into YouTube, schedule out the posts, schedule out the, the, the content, log into Rumble, do the same thing. Log into uh, medium.com, schedule out the schedule out the the blog posts, log into Mighty Networks, schedule out the blog posts. So it would take a lot of time to do one ep- one episode. It would take me about five, six hours. Now I came across a tool, which we'll get into a little bit later on. <clears throat> A little bit later on but before we do what i want to do is i want to talk to you guys about some of the sponsors yeah that's right we got some sponsors going on and um we got some we got some sponsors not a whole lot but we're looking for more sponsors so if you're interested in supporting our work and getting the getting people to understand what podcasting is and how it can benefit themselves, please, please shoot me an, an email at info at feofitness.ca. And this is the spot where you get your spot, your place in. Uh, before we do that, I want to talk to you guys about an amazing community that we are working, that, that we have up. And it's on the Mighty Networks platform for the fitness oracle community we are growing slowly but surely we we're going to be posting episodes un, never never before seen episodes on on that platform we are let's see you get you get a newsletter you get a one-on-one call with me to identify your sticking points and how can we work through your sticking points and programs that are going to be available only on the mighty networks platform um and that is for the podcasters wellness alliance we're going to teach you how to launch your own podcast and you can use these tips and tricks to implement in your day-to-day life. So if you haven't done so already, the, I thought I was prepared for this, man. Come on, John, what's wrong with you? Sometimes I amaze myself and not in a good way, not in a good way.
So if you want to sign up to the newsletter and get all those amazing perks, hit this link, sign up for the free newsletter that's going to be coming out on a weekly basis every Tuesday with the release of the first episode of the week. We are releasing two episodes per week. So act now. And uh, let's get you started. Let's get you started. Let's meet you. I want to meet you and talk to you and see what your sticking points are and what your everything is. So moving on. Wins. Wins from yesterday. Um, I completed the... I completed the, who did the, like, Eddie Garrison. Thank you, Eddie, brother. Long time no talk. Long time no talk. We got to connect soon. We got to connect very soon. Uh, wins. Wins from yesterday. I completed both copywriting, uh, copywriting stuff from the two podcasts that I have scheduled out to go out in six weeks, uh, which is awesome. Uh, I'm on track. And everything is in 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 works. There is a there is a potential of a major move for me again this year. Um, I'm going not I'm not going to really get into too much until things have been finalized with this with this big move. Uh, but it is tagged up as a big win on a personal level. So, uh, hold on a second. Where is, there it is. Okay. Um, th so those are my two big wins from, from yes. Oh, and I completed, uh, day five of, <clears throat> or sorry, day six of 75, 75 hard program, um, losses. So I'm going to roll with 75 hard, which is. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's been a while since I've been on a roll like this. It's been a while. So I'm actually quite happy with this. Losses. Um, losses, I'm going to be having to disappoint a couple people. And that really hurts me. Uh, I don't like disappointing people. I want everybody to get the most benefit for, with, for me at, with everything that comes into their life and my life. Um, I don't like disappointment and I don't like people disappointing me. So that's why I don't like disappointing people. And that's with the personal thing that's coming up. I will know more next week. Um, losses on a professional level. I don't really have too many. I mean, I'm quite happy with, uh, like where the podcast is going. I'm getting a little bit confused with um, the flow of how to bring on people and everything with the email marketing stuff and the, the automation stuff, because I want everything automated. I don't want to be doing things by myself. And there's tools in Brevo um, that we can get into next week where I can show you how to set up an automation where it's like, if this task happens, do this. It, at this time frame, and it's it's really simple to set up. But I'm get, you, you can get lost in the weeds, so I'm starting to feel like I'm getting lost in the weeds a little bit. So it's starting to feel like a loss. That mind you, mind you, these are good problems to have, but nevertheless, it's a problem. Um, now let's hear a little bit from our sponsors. Uh, where is it? I gotta get better. Are you interested in getting a side hustle that is life changing, not just for yourself, but for the people, for people that you never even met? Are you willing to, uh, push yourself? to learn new, new tricks, new tips, new, new hacks to life and share that with others and see how it changes their life. No bet. There's no better side hustle in my opinion than becoming a personal trainer. I have been a personal trainer for the past what 
14 years now. And it has been the most amazing journey I've ever taken. CPTN. I got to save this somewhere better. CPTN has, <clears throat> has an amazing program that will help you not only learn how to become a personal trainer, but also thrive in the business itself. Use this link in the comments below and use the code TFO10 to get 10% off. That's TFO10 and get 10% off the, the program itself. This is probably one of the best programs that you'll ever get anywhere in the world when it comes to getting introduction to personal training. I've been a member of CPTN since 2008, and I can vouch for them. There is no other personal training network that I want to be a part of. This is the only one. It's the best one. So use the link below and the code TFO10, and it will get you access to 10% off. And they both have online and in-person. If you are in the Toronto or GTA area, you can do the in-person. If you're, if you're anywhere else in the world, you can also use this code as well. So back to the show. So what's up for today? So today we today we talked about oh wow what did I do to that? So I got another loss. I got a haircut yesterday, and the barber cut my hair a little bit too short. Oh well, such is life. Anyways, on for today, today, we are going to be talking about a tool that I use to help shave off hours and hours and hours of scheduling. Scheduling takes a long time. So how do I schedule? How do I take eight hours of scheduling one episode to a matter of an hour and a half, 90 minutes? I do a little bit of multitasking here. So let me um, share my screen with you so I can show you. I have so many windows open. Why do I have so many windows open? It, guys, if you see how many browser windows I have open, it's ridiculous. I have at least 12 browsers. Put in the comments in the in the comments if you guys put if you guys use more than one window when um more than one window in, in the browsers because I have about like a dozen. <laughs> and let me know how many how many windows you have. I'd love to know. Now let me just remove wait a second, let me just remove that so I can make uh there we go. All right, so I use Hero Post. Hero Post is a great tool um, for the price that you pay you get so much out of it and like you can create as many posts. I think you're limited with how many posts you can do, but I don't really do that many posts. So uh, this YouTube one is interesting. I haven't, I'll be honest with you. I have not taken a look at it yet. What I do is I use uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, 
and Instagram. Although my, I'm having a problem with Instagram right now, it's not really uploading anything. I, I don't know why. Uh, I changed my password, that's why. And Telegram, there may be a little bit of a thing that I might be doing with Telegram in the near future, but my near future may be a little bit off. Uh, there's, a, like I said, there's a big change coming. Uh, and I'll know next week what, what's going to happen with this change. So what I normally do is like, I, okay, once I set up all my social profiles, and here you can see all the social profiles that you can set up. And it's it's quite a lot. And this is, I have the lifetime membership, and I only pay like 270, 280 bucks for it for forever. And you can do a lot like it's no joke what you can do you can add like pinterest youtube google my business linkedin twitter instagram facebook all the big players telegram i don't know what this vk stuff is tumblr i i, I don't use tumblr you can create like reddit posts uh, i don't have reddit maybe i should take a look at it um i'll take a look at it and see but you can see there's a lot that you can do. There's a lot of profiles and it's pretty much unlimited. Like I've, in order to do this in Hubs in, in Hootsuite, you need to be paying like hundreds of dollars a month, thousands of dollars a year. It's like, it's super, super, super powerful. That's why I like it. <clears throat> So what I do is once I have all my content done from yesterday, I just go here to schedules and from schedules, I just select the date. As you can see, I already have stuff posted, <coughs> excuse me, but it's mostly for Facebook and LinkedIn. Again, I have an issue with Instagram. I don't know what's going on with it. Um, I'm not blocked out of it. I had to change my password. And I think that's what the problem is. Um, I have to look into it, but I can't do it today because I have to do scheduling. So I just go here, add a post. And from here I go uh, link. I put in the URL link to my YouTube and I put in a small caption. The caption, the caption that I use is the copyright that I did yesterday. So all I do is I copy and paste and I hit schedule here and I just change the date. And I just select the profile that I want to use. That's it. And I just click schedule, schedules it out. It literally, this for the longest that it takes me would be five minutes just to get myself reacclimatized with it. That's it. Once I'm done, once I get reacclimatized with a process, each post takes me about a minute. So within 13 minutes, I'll have all my Facebook posts done. 13 minutes, I'll have all my LinkedIn stuff done. Again, I haven't, and 13 minutes to get all my Instagram stuff when Instagram, when I figure out what, my Instagram stuff. YouTube, I haven't figured that out yet. Twitter, Twitter is an absolute and sheer monster. Um, I have to come up with a game plan for Twitter. And I come up with game plans for all this. I'll show you what I mean. There is a specific game plan for all of my, uh, all of my content. Let me stop screen share. I don't like that view. I like that view better. Let me know in the comments if you like this view or this view. I really don't like that view. I like this view. I'm going to keep this view until you guys let me know which one you like better. One, one or two. I like two. For now, I'll keep two. So... 
Let me share. My Trello. So episode release. I have specific tasks every time a every time one of my cards. So this card This should be here. That should be here. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to take this card because this card's already done and I'm going to move it to po uh, it's in post production. So I'm going to move it to short term promos. Move. And this one is also should be moved to short term promos. Okay, so those two are gone. This should be in scheduling. Oops. And that should be in scheduling. All right, so now I'm going to change my workspace so I can show you what I mean. Uh, where did I go? Podcast promotions. Short-term promos. So here are all my short term promos. Okay, I have quite a bit the day before. So the day before I have stuff that are that I have tasks to do the day before I'll open up this one. And you'll see all this stuff is done. Everything is done and it's scheduled. All I have to do is notify the guest on May 16th. That your episodes coming up. Episode releases May 17th. <clears throat> and these are all the tasks that I have to do. These are all the times that the that the uh, episode will be posted on social media to remind people to go back and listen to it or watch it or whatever. So day of, day of, there's <clears throat> specific tasks I have to do the day of. So once those tasks are done, I move it to three days after the episode is released. Five days after the episode is released, I do a guest promo. Six days after the episode is released, there's another post, nine days, 12 days. So I've broken it down this way because this is the way it makes sense to me. These are short-term um, promos. Mid-term promos, Three weeks, six weeks, nine weeks, 12 weeks. Long-term promos, three months, six months, nine months, 12 months. So this is just stuff that I use. <clears throat> and remember, all of this is already done, done and dusted here in Hero Post. So I don't have to worry about um, reminding myself, Oh, did episode uh, did episode two ninety eight? Did episode two ninety eight with Harmony Woodington? Did did I post it today? I don't have to worry about it. It's already posted. I don't. I never have to think about this ever again. It's done and dusted, unless there's a. Um, Unless there's, uh, I'll reach out to my guests, say, and like um, three months time and say, do you have any new promos that you want me to promote for you? And with that, and with that at three months, I can put, I can edit the notes or I can edit the post saying there's a new, uh, there's a new offering from this guest and do all that stuff. And by the way, this is free, free version. Now in Trello, mind you, you cannot, um, the thing that isn't free in Trello is setting dates. 
you have to pay extra, you have to pay the premium, which isn't much. I mean, it really isn't much. So it's, it's a powerful tool. You can potentially get lost in the weeds. You can potentially get lost in the weeds um, with anything. I mean, I got squirrel brain, just like most of you do. And it's just trying to um, manage the squirrel brain, really trying to manage the squirrel brain. And that's why tools like Trello, Monday.com, uh, all these project management tools, they're super, super useful uh, in order for you to uh, stay focused on the task at hand. And I love Trello. Uh, I'm learning to love Trello. Um, I know a lot of people like uh, Monday.com. I haven't played around with Monday.com enough to really understand it. And my <laughs> my free account with Monday.com has expired. I mean, in 14 days, doesn't really give you enough time to really play around with it. So whatever it is what it is whereas trello i mean the free account gives you more than enough to uh create your stuff and have all that great fun playing around so what's up for tomorrow tomorrow is saturday and we are going to be doing uh discovery calls now I'm going to do tomorrow might be a little bit earlier in the day. I know I said 9 a.m. Eastern daylight time every day, but I have some uh, other obligations that I can't get out of uh, for the most of the day. So I may have this go live probably around 6 a.m. tomorrow. <clears throat> and uh, I'll show you guys uh, what I do when it comes to um, how I, what, how, and why I do discovery calls. And it's super important that we get the discovery calls right, because it sets the foundation to, um, it sets the foundation to, uh, podcasting. And it gives you that you'll see, it gives you that better interaction with your guest while you're doing the recording. So it's not stranger on stranger. At least you've had one conversation with your guest and you can vet guests. I've said no to guests before. You're not a good fit. I'm sorry. I, I think you're a great guy, but I'm sorry. I, I, you, you'll see. You'll see. So um, just a little bit of, of a plug here. If you guys haven't listened to the Fitness Oracle or watched the Fitness Oracle, we released an episode yesterday with uh, Daniel McQueen. Uh, he went through two major uh, brain hemorrhages and he had to relearn how to walk, talk, smile. And now he's talking publicly about it. And um, we talk about some interesting topics like swallowing the hairy frog it's, uh, Daniel is an amazing, an amazing human being. He's so resilient and the stuff that he's went through was next level. So if you're, if you, uh, want to go to YouTube or rumble, just check up the, the latest episode that we have with Daniel. Uh, and, um, it, it's under, uh, resilient reboot productions on YouTube and it's under the podcasts. Or you can listen to it on iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Um, Bullhorn, apparently Bullhorn is one of the more, more popular ones. I don't even know what Bullhorn is, but it's on the popular list for me, for people listening in. Um, wherever you listen to your favorite podcast episodes, it that will be under the Fitness Oracle. So, um Go ahead and listen to the latest episode with Daniel McQueen. It is it is inspiring to see what what resilience can do for a person, and it's next level. Again, um, if you haven't done so already, please sign up for the for the fee. 
for the few. Wow, I'm having problems talking to, to this morning. Just a reminder, the link below to sign up for the free newsletter and a call with me to identify your sticking points and how we can help you move through them and see if we can get you on a path of success. But also, you get access to uh, the Fitness Oracle uh, group in Mighty Networks. Free access to the Fitness Oracle Mighty Networks, where we have community calls, where we have uh, weekly teachings, uh, where we have so blog posts that come out on a weekly basis, early access to the episodes uh, of the Fitness Oracle, and so much more. So, so much more programs that are up and coming and the free access and early access to the, to the, to those, to those, um, to those uh, programs. Also, I want one more plug for my good friends over at CPTN. If you are interested in getting your next level and understanding one of the best and lucrative side hustles that you can find, Becoming a personal trainer is one of them. Sign up right now at CPTN with, in the links below with a with a code TFO10, TFO10, and get 10% off the art and science of personal training at CPTN. You can do this both online or in person if you're in the GTA area and um, get yourself ready to have your world rocked with one of the best and most lucrative side hustles that you can find until tomorrow. Now, remember tomorrow is an early, early live. It'll be at 6 AM and Sunday will also be at 6 AM because of a engagement that I cannot get out of. Uh, I will see you guys. Then you guys have an awesome and productive day and I'll see you guys.